Hello friends, it's Lindsay Satterfield. This is take two. I don't know what just happened, <laughs> but we will try again. So I'm here today to talk to you how about how to organize your efforts to make progress on your goals, your projects, your to-do list. So it's February, have you noticed? And this is about the time when those goals that were super exciting in January are just less so, <laughs> right? And um, part of the problem I think with goals is that we set goals and kind of leave it at that and think, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna work on that, I will get to that, I'll definitely do that. And it just doesn't happen and over time, we start losing connection with that thing that we thought was such a great idea to pursue at the beginning of the year, let's say. And we can do this in our projects, we can do this in our with our to-do lists. So I wanna to talk to you today about how to structure your efforts so that you're continually making progress on your goals. This is super simple. <laughs> and the way I like to think about it, the way I structure um, my efforts and the way I recommend to others is let's say you have um, a year-long goal. So you could have a five-year goal, you could have a 10-year goal, you could have a three-year goal. Let's say you have a year-long goal. So by December 31st, this is the result. This is what I want to be true. So that's your goal. Now you can't stop there. So then you want to shorten that focal length, and I think I've talked about this before on these Facebook Lives, shorten that focal length to 90 days and look at if I want to get to this goal by the end of the year, what are my goals for 90 days? 90 days starts allowing you to create segments of work, sort of um, intervals of work. So. You're gonna look at what are my goals for the 90 days. So there's a um, three month period. This one that we're in will end March 31st. What do I want to be true by then? And then I segment my work even further and segment it into what are, what are two week sprints. So two week sprints. And I call them sprints. Some people might not like that term because it sounds like you have to be um, full out and running fast. Um, you could call it um, an interval. So basically it's just segmenting the time. So you take that those 90 day goals, you back them up into what are the results that I want towards that goal in the next two weeks. So you break up your work in two week periods. And then each week, at the in the end of week one you do an assessment how am i doing in this sprint make any adjustments and like that so i love this idea and it, i it got reinforced for me again with the peloton digital app that i run with outside is i'm listening to someone guide me through a run so a 30 minute run a 45 minute run a 60 minute run and the way it's broken up is into these intervals. So we're gonna do, um, let's say a rate, of, a rate of perceived exertion of six for five minutes. Then we're gonna have one minute at an easy pace, then another five minutes of, at level six. So like that. So you're kind of pacing yourself in these shorter chunks. And by doing that, it makes it much easier to accomplish the run. You've broken it up. So that's all this framework is talking about. It's looking at you t you how to segment your work. So you're looking at the year, then you're looking at 90 days, then you're looking at two weeks. Then you're going to look at each week, what are you going to do in each week, and then what are you going to do each day. So I look at the day's work the night before and look at in, if I want to get this done in this coming week, this is these are the tasks I need to focus on today. So that's how you back up this big goal that you might have or this big project that you might have. <clears throat> Oftentimes we are too ambitious. We have on our to-do list some big goal and it never ever gets done. So you want to look at how can I segment it? How can I create a smaller interval? Now, along with these two week sprints, I like to do a sprint assessment after each two weeks. And why is that? because doing our work isn't just about 
checking off a to-do list. It's actually getting better, getting more masterful at accomplishing whatever it is that we're doing, right? So if we don't build in some kind of reflection on how did that go, we are not going to be moving forward with a sense of mastery of getting better and better at our performance. And it's really simple to do an assessment. Four questions. You ask yourself, what did I accomplish? And this is so important to, to take in what it is that you did accomplish and what contributed to, to my accomplishing that. Then you ask, what did I not accomplish? and what contributed to my not accomplishing that. So this is where we're dispassionate, we just look at the facts, and then we um, make an assessment about what might I do differently going forward. This is how you teach yourself to get better in your performance. Any athlete will do this, any artist will do this, and each of us in our own way can do it also. That's how we become more masterful. So. That's what we're up to today. We're looking at how to structure um, for goal achievement, looking at the longer period, breaking it up into 90 days, breaking it up further into two week sprints, looking at each week, and then looking at what do I want to accomplish today. And one more thing, you might consider if you think of three things that you want to focus on that day that will help you with accomplishing the results of that sprint, if you look at three things you wanna do that day, try to front load them. Try doing them at the beginning of your day. The likelihood those things are gonna get done are much higher if you can do that and you start building in this sense of momentum. So structuring your work like that just helps you with this sense of progress, moving forward, and momentum. So that's it for today. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.